Shower blowjobs are coming, sir. <laughs> um, where are my uh, Where are my Portland natives at? Woo! Yeah, this city is great. I passed human shit on the way here. <laughs> where are my um, Where are my transplants at? Woo! Yeah. What are you running away from? The IRS, really. The IRS. <laughs> They'll find you again. <laughs> Well, uh, we've got other transplants here. What are you, uh, what are you running away from? California. California? Yeah. I'm running away from a whole state, too. I'm running away from Florida. It's, uh, it's pretty funny. When it was snowing out here, um, I went to stop and get some gas, and one of the guys saw my license plate, like, changing my gas or, or giving me gas, and he said, Florida, what are you doing out here? You must be really hating this snow right now. And I said, sir, I am a mildly intelligent gentleman who is overweight. I never belonged in Florida to begin with. <laughs> Everything went against my personality and my physicality as well. <laughs> I had to get out. Um, I lost my virginity in an above ground pool in Florida to the Daredevil soundtrack. <laughs> and then the girls stole the soundtrack. <laughs> you like how that story just keeps getting sadder for me? <laughs> Ira, how did you lose your virginity? Did I? Did I? <laughs> well, we know you're good with your fingering, so <laughs> we all set. <laughs> oh man, we have fun. <laughs> so I, uh, I I smoke a lot of weed, and um, it's pretty obvious. I actually I was mean with my weed for the first time ever outside. This this guy I didn't even know asking me to smoke, and I was like, I don't fucking know you. Felt pretty great. Actually, I'm usually the nicest fucking person ever with my weed, but you gotta start fucking conservative, man. That tax has started. Um, I, uh, I love, though, that 40% of the 25% of the tax is going uh, towards Oregon public schools. So now when people ask me why I smoke weed, I can say, it's for the fucking kids, bro. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Uh, weed is, is amazing. It makes everything better. Um, it, it'll make shitty movies better, which is interesting. Um, there's, a, there's a theme in cinema, it's called uh, suspension of disbelief. It's basically when a movie gets too fucking wacky and you can't wrap your mind around it anymore. But weed, it like lengthens the area, like, <laughs> like, like how much like, suspension of disbelief you can actually have. You know, like the movie Spider-Man. A teenager gets bit by a radioactive spider and he grows little pubes on his fingers. And now he can grow, you know, he can like climb on walls. You know, <laughs> I can smoke enough weed to believe that. You know? There's enough weed for me to, to believe that. But I will never believe when it comes to musicals. There's not enough weed in the world to suspend my disbelief. How the hell is a guy gonna open his door, start singing a song, and all of his friends and neighbors know all the lyrics and choreography to that song? <laughs> I call bullshit on that one. But I'm a little, I'm a little fucked up. I really, really enjoy musicals with like ritualistic murder in them. You know, like Sweeney Todd or uh, Little Shop of Horrors, the original Willy Wonka. <laughs> he killed those kids, man. He killed those kids with a smile on his fucking face and a song in his heart. And, and whenever anyone asks about what happened to the kids, he's like, nope, another song. Let's move along. They're like, no, seriously, I think that kid's like drowning in there. Nope, he's not. He's fine. He's in our fudge room. <laughs> no, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad that weed's legal. I'm, I'm looking for another job at this point, and uh, this is my dream scenario. I, I'm, in, I'm in the interview, and the interviewer looks at me. He goes, Kyle, your references check out and you've got a great attitude. But I gotta be honest, man, I'm looking at your eyes and they're a little bit red. Are you high or are you tired? And I say, I'm both. I'm hired. <laughs> then we high five and smoke a bowl in the back because that's how shit works now, you know? I mean, I'm, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, let's see here. Um, anyone, so we're talking about running away from stuff. Anyone run away from family? 
Yeah. Anyone out here knowing family? Yeah. Family's fucking depressing, man. You get on the phone with family and it's the baby update and the cancer update. Uh -huh. Who had a baby? Who has cancer? <laughs> and everyone else in my family that's my age, they're sitting around wondering, oh, do we want to know the sex to our baby that we're going to have? And I'm sitting around wondering what kind of fucking cancer I'm going to get. <laughs> and I have one thing in common with them. I think I want it to be a surprise, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I'll close on I'll close on a, a silly song. Um, so as I said, I'm from Florida, and uh, if I had to go back, I would start a um, an anal bleaching and uh, tanning salon in one, you know. And uh, it's pretty much because the only thing to do in Florida is hop in a pool, and everyone's an asshole. So Florida's full of chlorinated assholes, you know. <laughs> it's gonna make a little money off of that. So I have a little jingle for my business venture. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Come on down to Bleach Butthole Town. We'll turn your brown pots white and your white pots brown. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah! yeah.